I am Derek. And I'm Nick. And we are here, if you were wondering, and I don't know why you might be wondering, but you may be wondering, and I'm here to tell you you're wondering about if this whiskey is worth it. Listen. <laughs> I don't know if you're wondering. I don't know if you want to wonder. I don't know if you're here to wonder, but guess what? I'm going to wonder for you. Here at Keeping It Neat. <laughs> that was... That's amazing. I know. It's something good. Are you wondering if a bottle of whiskey is worth the hype and price? We are tasting blindly here without knowing the label, the distillery, or the price. <laughs> we're going to share with you what we're tasting, rate it, and then let you know if it's actually worth picking the bottle up. If we can get through this monologue, we'll see what happens next. <laughs> we will see what happens next. So far, so good. We're moving on. All right. <laughs> are you ready to whiskey? Ready and able. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ooh. Ooh, that smells good. Cherry, oak. Brown sugar. Yep. A little cinnamon. A little light honey in there. Yeah. Let's go in for it. All right, let's do it. I want to say apple. Yeah. Okay. An apple -y. apple or pear. But the, again, the honey, cinnamon, oak. Kind of because it's, it's got a little heat. It does have so a little, it has a little it's, heat. It's, it, there's a little proof to this one, I think. But you I mean. also have listed off a lot of the flavors I was getting. Um, Maybe a small amount of leather in there or a tobacco -y oh. flavor. Tobacco-y. I, tobacco yeah, I think you're, I, Yeah, I would definitely agree with you on that. A little tobacco. I thought leather because the back of my tongue's drying out pretty quickly. But, but um, yeah, definitely get the tobacco-y in there. And a lot of those other flavors mm -hmm. you already said. The oak. Yeah, the, the, the tobacco definitely, I think. You wouldn't be wrong, I don't think even without the leather note you said in there, too. Could be both. Yeah, I'm kind of really getting both, honestly. Nice. It's a nice, it's a nice sip. You want to put some water in here? And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, H2O or H2O. There you go. We always put water in just to see if it opens up some other notes that might be going on inside of there. And let's see. Give it a little stir. Mix it up. Oh, see, it's bringing, it's, it's bringing out that fruit that flavor fruit more note, now. Yeah, that fruit note in there. It's that's a, wonderful. It's apple-y, orchard-y kind of like a... Yeah. You know what's nice? The water did not kill the flavor profile here. Um, it actually still opened it up. There's yeah. still more to dig in. More spice notes now. Yes. A lot more baking spices are coming out. Yeah, I'm getting a little like a little black pepper in there. Yep. A little burn. But that definitely got something because I'm getting a little Kentucky hug going on. A little proof on. going on A little in proof there. in there, definitely. Yeah, definitely a proof. Um, but that fruit note came out more prominent with the water. Yeah. So I like this one. I do. Too. We like when we start diving into it. Let's rate it. All right, pal. Show me what you got, buddy. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm really enjoying this one. Ugh, so tough. I'm going four. I'm going to give it a four. Okay. I'm going to give it a one, two, three. And I am going to go the half. Three and a half? All right. I'll put it in that. All right. Three and a half. Um, Right there with you. This is tasty. I want to keep going. The water didn't ruin it, which is a huge plus. Let's find out what's in that case. Well, the max score is a five out of this. So three and a half and a four is not bad. We have got, ooh, all right, dude. The Old Forest of Rye. Ooh. Maybe that's what's giving us that little bit of burn. Might be that little rye note in there. A little pepperiness and stuff. Yeah, like you that know what? We're saying in there. And I know off air, we have done this rye on a past show. Yes, we did on a, one of our lives. Um, one of our lives. Yep. And we liked it. And it's very surprising because it doesn't come across as a rye. No, it doesn't. Nice. Yeah, it does not come off like with those traditional rye notes that yes. you would normally get. Like that, that grassiness that comes forward yeah. that you get a lot. And, a lot of those peppery spices, which I didn't get out of here. I mean, I was going along the lines of a bourbon with this one. Yep. No, it's uh, it's nice and crisp. Every sip has been delightful. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with where we rated I'm, this and where yeah, we're putting it. I'm liking it. I think this one is worth the pick up for it. Definitely go out if you want to try a ride. Definitely go try the Old Forester. Got anything else there, buddy? Episodes coming out weekly. Check us out. And we also come on over, join our Facebook group and our other sites. Yeah, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Do our thing. Do our thing. So... Just hoping that y'all find a little bit of luxury in otherwise ordinary life. Cheers, everyone. See you, Kim. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.